The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB group has asked security agencies to go after enforcers of a sit-at-home order. And the All Progressives Congress APC has achieved more in seven years than the People's Democratic Party. And this is according to the APC National Chairman Abdullahi Adabu. This is Plus Politics and I am Kofi Bartels. You welcome the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has stated that it does not have any problem with the military, particularly the Nigerian army's killing of criminals and hoodlums still enforcing its long cancelled Monday weekly sit at home order. The group said it would never support criminals making the southeast unsafe for habitation and that it would never tolerate the killing of innocent Igbo youth. Now, according to IPOB, those who still enforce the Monday weekly sit at home order and not its members but they describe them as criminals who want to rob the people and that they should be treated as criminals by security agents so this was stated by ipub's media and publicity secretary ima pafo uh, joining us to discuss this is law mefo law mefo is a public affairs analyst and uh, will be later joined by Chinidu Honda, retired colonel of the Nigerian Army. Law Mefo, good evening to you and thank you very much for your time. Yeah, good evening, my brother. Good evening, Nigeria. Are you surprised by the stance of the indigenous people of Biafra uh, group on this Monday seat at home, which has been on for some months now? Yes, uh, I think... Um their position is a patriotic one because um, all the while, a lot of people believe that uh, they are playing a double uh, game, that uh, what is going on um, has uh, received uh, their tacit approval. And even when they said they weren't the ones responsible for the enforcement of uh, the citizen, a lot of people took that with a pinch of salt. Now that they are boldly asking uh, the military to go after the criminals, I think it is only the right thing to do. And um, uh, I have always known the uh, IPOB to be peaceful. Uh, th this violence being ascribed uh, to the body is quite a surprise to so many of us. Because IPOB has always been a peaceful movement. And... Um, it does appear that um, it, it, some elements that uh, maybe it broke away from uh, IPOB and uh, the, those who believe uh, that uh, Biafra struggle must uh, uh, be given a, a push using uh, arms. And um, criminals generally that saw an opening in that. These three categories of people you know, are the ones suddenly constituting themselves into what we call uh, the unknown, unknown uh, government. Um, I read uh, one of the press statements issued by the spokesman of uh, the indigenous and peoples of Biafra, Ima Powerful, where he boldly named some people. Uh, he, named, he named them, named their towns. And uh, it was a very bold uh, step he took then. The, you know, the, 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 main, the, the main body. And we also have had from uh, the lawyers of uh, Nam De Kano, their leader, you know, the, the, their lawyers, Ejo Four and uh, Ejimako, have uh, often relayed the message that Nam De Kano says that nobody should sit at home, you know, because of his incarceration. And uh, it, it should not be enforced also. So which means uh, Nam De Kano does not approve of it. And then the group, especially the one that has uh, its bearing from Simon Epa, who is resident in uh, Finland, uh, is the group that is beheading this. So I really don't know how it will pan out because um, um, everybody may be tired with the same uh, brush. How do you, um, uh, you know, expect the Nigerian military 
to know the difference between uh, the various uh, groups of uh, Biafran agitators. And uh, it is going to really pose a lot of uh, problems. And uh, it is a delicate uh, operation. And um, they, they have to be extremely careful. And my fear is that a lot of innocent people may fall uh, victims. I don't know how they will really go about this. And um, uh, a, 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 a Professor Chukuma Soludo, uh, upon assumption of office, has also um, uh, you know, uh, offered or extended the olive branch to IPOB asking them to come out and uh, let the work together, restore peace, and, um, and, and that should be the way to go. You know, so I think just once, one more thing I want to add is that I think it is important that the, the uh, branch of IPOB telling uh, the military to go after the criminals should do more. They should work with the Soludo, they should work with the military uh, uh, to be able to really uh, ensure that uh, innocent Igbo youths are not uh, victims of any oppression that they will launch in that direction. Right. Uh, um, interesting. Uh, uh, so you're saying that this has been coming for some time now and indeed it has been on for some time now. Um, but the, I, I'm sure we can agree that whilst there have been calls, you know, by a section of uh, the IPOB or, you know, uh, Biafran agitation, agitators uh, for against the Mountain State at home. Uh, this probably is one of the few times we're hearing the group actually say the Nigerian army should go after people. Um, is this surprising yes. to you, uh, bearing in mind the history uh, of the Nigerian army in the Southeast, the history between the Nigerian army and IPOB, the history between the Nigerian army and the Biafran agitation? I mean, we can go back recently to Operation Python Dance. You know, even when uh, Kano was said to have jumped bail, uh, we, the operation uh, carried out in his country home, in Abia State, where certain persons, amount of number of persons were said to have been killed. Um, are you shocked that the group is actually telling the Nigerian army to go after people in the southeast? No, I, I wouldn't say um, I am shocked. I don't think um, I was shocked when I first had it. I believe that... Um, this is a problem that uh, requires um, concerted uh, efforts of uh, all uh, sections of the society that need peace. And um, I think uh, the IPOB is trying to demonstrate that they are not behind uh, this killing and uh, whoever is doing it is not doing it in their name. Uh, and and I, I, I do also see that um, in, in a their eagerness to prove uh, their innocence. They, 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 they went uh, to the extent of uh, asking the military to do uh, the needful. Um, well, the, the military, of course, there has not been in good times with IPOB. But uh, when you have uh, a mortal enemy, you're, you may have to weigh your options. You may actually combine with a, a lesser enemy to be able to deal with a more mortal enemy. I do think that um, the group, you know, that has constituted the unknown government, you know, they, they have become a problem to everybody, including the IPOB itself. So if you will take the collaboration with the military to deal with the matter, I think, I think they are right. I think I support their call. And that is exactly why we were shouting the time IPOB was proscribed, hurriedly, rather, if you ask me you know, proscribed as a terrorist organization. And that has uh, made it difficult for them to collaborate with the um, government agencies. Otherwise, it would have been easier this time around mm. by POB to work directly with the military. Okay. But now, uh, there is that legal constraint that working with the military, the military will have to bear the burden of explaining why they are working with uh, a group they have tagged a terrorist organization. But be that that is as it may, a security operation of this nature, a lot can go behind the scene. I mm. recommend that they really have to work together, off record, behind the scene, okay. and get the problem sorted out. All right. L L L L Mefo, uh, is, is the IPOB current stance 
um, and not going to, you know, go against what it says is fighting for, what it says is, is um, it's agitating for, wouldn't the IPOB be opening the, Pandora, the, the hornet's nest, as it were, um, telling or empowering or supporting military action in the southeastern part of Nigeria? Um, I mean, the history is well documented of uh, the, the oh. aftermath, the casualty, uh, when it comes to the military actions in the southeast. Um, is, is, is the IPOB not embarking on a journey that will ultimately lead to more casualties, more tales of wars, and you know, opening the, the hornet's nest, as it were? I, I really, um, I don't envy uh, the IPOB at this point. Yeah, because uh, certainly there will be And when they occur, inevitably, uh, IPOB will suddenly share in the blame, not only the Nigerians. And uh, it is going to um, uh, constitute a bit of uh, a collateral damage. But they, I still think it's a price worth uh, paying. Uh, they, they, need to, they, they need to really cooperate with uh, the state, uh, Anambra state government. They need to cooperate with uh, the uh, service uh, governors. They need to cooperate with the security agencies to restore peace to the region. Anambra's case is the most pathetic because until May last year, Anambra state was the second state in Nigeria. So following the invasion of uh, these uh, stranger characters, you know, especially towards uh, the build-up to Anambra uh, governorship election, the state has uh, not known peace. Uh, up till uh, uh, yesterday, you know, uh, uh, Newi local government area was attacked and bombed. And, 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 and bumped that, you know, that, that two, three days ago, another local government area, my own local government area, uh, which is Idemili, uh, Idemili you know, also uh, bumped down. So I do think, I really do think that um, uh, the, the, the operation has to go on. It's very important. We need peace. You know, whatever the cost, we just mm. need peace. All right. Um, you, you initially mentioned uh, uh, Charles Solodo, so let's bring him in at this point. Um, what role do you think the visit uh, Charles Solodo paid to uh, Mazin Namdikano five days ago uh, in DSS detention? What role do you think this has played in IPOB releasing this latest statement? I think uh, what uh, Soludo wanted to establish uh, was a, a well, we seem to be having a, a, a bit of a network issue with the law Mefo, who is a guest. Uh, he is uh, also joining us from Abuja. We'll try and uh, get back to him. He is a director of public affairs at the Igbo Leadership Development Foundation and has been giving us his thoughts on the development in the southeastern part of Nigeria. I'm glad to see we have a retired Colonel Chindo Honda on the line. Um, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I can hear you. Is this Colonel Honda, please? Yes. Colonel, thank you for your time. Kofi Bartels here. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts on the statement released by the indigenous people of Biafra group um, calling on the Nigerian army to deal decisively and to go after uh, those who are fomenting violence in the southeast. I'm sure uh, also uh, those who are trying to enforce the Monday still at home. Um, we've seen tales of carnage, you know, killings, attacks, destruction in different parts yeah. of the southeast in states like Imo and Anambra. What are your thoughts? Are you surprised the IPOB is actually asking the Nigerian army to go after these guys? Well, uh, as you can, uh, headquarters personnel will be, they are not the ones that are those who just uh, operation. That they are the people who would be wounded in this, if this stand group of the ICOB. POB leadership vehemently denied it. He said it is not interest for him from the council about most that when you stop it, 
have that transport. See, before that moment, security agencies, this time now, investigate is the IPO or they are doing this to create a unique plan to deal with them. In a situation, this country, state police, or the three pieces of government holding the security of the people for the Hello? Yeah, uh, Connor, we're having an issue uh, hearing you clearly. Uh, please, if you're using earpiece or Bluetooth device, kindly detach it. Um, and, and maybe you, you, can, you can try again so that we don't have that interruption. Is that okay with you, sir? All right, we, we will take a short break, very short break, to try and get the audio issues sorted out so we can continue our very important discussion on this very important subject. We'll be back in a jiffy. Please stay with us. or Bluetooth or something, maybe. She's phone is using now, yeah? Hello? Okay, what about, what about the uh, Cornell? Cornell. Okay, tell me if you hear piece, you should remove your piece. Yeah, Mr. 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 Mefo, are you there, please? Yes, yeah. I'm here. Okay. The network just creeped off. Okay, we're coming back to you, Jiffy, please. Yeah, Cornell, please, are you there? What? Okay, Connor, can you hear me, please? Yes, I, yes, can, I hear can hear you. Okay, all right. Please stay with us. Two of we have two guests, so please stay with us. We'll be coming back to you. Yeah. All right. Welcome back. Uh, we still have our guests with us. Uh, um, we have uh, Law Mefo, who is of the Igbo Leadership Development Foundation. Uh, Mr. Mefo, are you there, please? Hello, sir. Law Mefo, yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Fantastic. We also have Colonel Chinedo Honda retired. Uh, Colonel, can you hear me, please? I can hear you. All right, Connor, before we, we went off on that break, you were giving us your thoughts on this latest uh, call uh, by IPOB uh, asking the Nigerian military to go after those who are enforcing a Monday sit at home, which they initially uh, were the ones who um, uh, started. So please continue with your, the point you were making. If you you say harsh. Connell, are you there? Okay, uh, uh, Lome, for back to you. Um, um, uh, you've said you're not, a free, you're not shocked. You've said that uh, you're not surprised. But I was asking you if this call will not open the hornet's nest because we uh, have been privy to the, the results and the casualties that have been recorded each time the Nigerian army embarks on such an operation in the southeast. We've had Operation Python Dance uh, that we can refer to. Uh, before we lost you, you were making a point, uh, Mr. Mefo. Yes. Um, I say that certainly it will come with uh, some collateral damage. I know so. And um, like you said, knowing uh, the Nigerian military, they are not, uh, um, you know, discretionary when and where they should be. Uh, what that means is that um, they will turn all the Biafra agitators with the same with the same brush. They will label all of them, IPOB, dissidents, ESN, and then and and, and even uh, innocent youths. Many of them are likely to um, just say uh, go down like that. 
So it, it's a very terrible uh, situation. But I do think that um, if they work um, closely, if they work closely with the um, uh, IPOP, you know, regardless of their status in law, uh, they should be able to uh, pinpoint uh, their, their targets more accurately. And um, because if they go all out, you know, in search of uh, the enemy, you know, um, the way they have uh, described them, they, they may not be able to really uh, be too sure about the those they have uh, classified as such. We have seen that happen over and over again. Uh, what that means is that uh, whoever becomes a victim, you know, is uh, uh, taken to be one, uh, one of the uh, unknown uh, gunmen, which may not be true. And that is your fear. Yes, it is likely to happen that way. But we can reduce this collateral damage if uh, the, the military will uh, work in close collaboration with the IPOB, with the Anambra State the government, um, they, 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 it, it's not going to take uh, all the problem away, but uh, it is likely to reduce uh, the dangers uh, drastically all right. to the point uh, that um, may be tolerable. What, what, what role do you think the visit of uh, Governor Charles Sonodo played in this latest uh, development, uh, with IP will be releasing uh, the statement. Do you think he, that his visit played a role uh, at all? The role uh, Soludo will play in no. uh, the process. What, what, what impact do you think the visit of Soludo to Namdi Kano in DSS detention played? In, in, in bringing out this statement from, from IPOB? Because, of course, Anambra State, like you rightly said, uh, since about May last year, has been uh, the beneficiary of most of these uh, attacks. Yes. Uh, um, like, I, I don't know if I made that point before Network uh, took me out. I, I said that uh, his visit to um, Namdekano in the DSS facility um, it, it, it was uh, quite uh, an important and symbolic uh, gesture. Um, it, 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 suddenly, it was suddenly done to show uh, an olive branch and to reconfirm to himself that uh, the leader of uh, IPOB, you know, is still the peaceful man he has always uh, known. I, you can recall that uh, he was uh, in Kuje prison in 2017. You know, some of us accompanied him you know, on that uh, trip to Kuje to see uh, the seminar in the canal. So it's not actually the first time, he, you know, he uh, was uh, visiting him, uh, you know, while uh, in a detention. It's uh, about the second time. So um, it certainly uh, played a role because uh, uh, he, he reconfirmed uh, his position as, um, as a friend, as a friend and uh, as... Um, Somebody who is sympathetic, you know, to um, their, their, their struggle. He understands them, no doubt. He understands what they are saying. Usuludo has spoken about uh, the uh, Biafra struggle and Biafra factor in uh, the survival of uh, the Igbo ethnic group and uh, even the survival of Nigeria. I have uh, attended and listened to a number of lectures he delivered in that direction. So, but he wouldn't want... Uh, the, the struggle to be violent. He also wouldn't want the struggle to lead to disbandment uh, uh, of Nigeria as an ethnic, uh, as, as, as an entity. He wouldn't want that. He would want Nigeria to remain an entity, to remain a country, but every section giving uh, its due, uh, the country to uh, be there for all of us, not only for the Igbo ethnic group, but for all the 250 ethnic uh, groups in Nigeria. That is what Soludo would want. And uh, he wouldn't want the Biafra struggle to become an armed struggle. That is why he said, look, you better come out. Let us uh, re-evaluate your strategy. He didn't say do away with your vision uh, or with the struggle. He said the strategy. Something is wrong with the method. And uh, the method can only complicate what they are doing. And... Um, they put it further away to the point that what they want to achieve may be lost in uh, the maze of uh, uncertainty, of uh, violence, of uh, wrong methods. 
that uh, many people who are sympathetic to the struggle, they even begin to draw away from it, and they leave uh, them orphans and uh, isolated, and um, many more will perish in All the right. process All right. without Biafra being attained. And um, if you understand Pasoludo from that perspective, you can understand why he visited and what he has achieved. I okay, think it was a wonderful move. All right. So it's, as far as you're concerned, that was a masterstroke. Uh, Lome Fo, thank you very thank much you. for your time, thank sir. It's been quite interesting having you. you as guest on uh, the on Plus, TV, Plus Politics. It will be in, uh, we wish you had more time because there are a lot of questions to ask you. For instance, who are these um, uh, enforcers of the Monday seat at home if IPOB is saying they are not behind it? Uh, and there are more questions to ask, but we'll have you again soon, I believe, uh, sooner than later. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lor Mefo is the Director of Public you. Affairs at the Igbo Leadership Development Foundation. Thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now, and when we return, we attempt to compare the achievements of the two major political parties in Nigeria. It's going to be explosive. Please stay with us.